Hello there. Welcome to another test recording. This time we're going to try out some redstone stuff before actually doing the blaze farm because it'd be better to do a quicker video on it than a longer video on it. So I'm not sure entirely how much will be skipped and cut out and all of that stuff. And for the blaze farm itself, most of the items are actually ready beforehand. You know what? That's a little loud. Hang on a second. There we go. Okay, that's better. Yeah. So I don't know how much will be cut out to ensure a timely video. And we will find out. I'm starting this kind of from scratch here. And we're just going to make something fun. It's been a little while since I've been on here. So just checking the inventories. not good. Okay, well first off, grab some dirt. I already have stone. Maybe a bunch of these, yeah. These, is this enough? Might not be enough. Something I was thinking of for a while. Uh, need quartz. And it's not the full thing I was thinking of. I'm thinking maybe I will build at least a little bit of it to try it out in survival. I've only ever done it in creative so far. And it would be nice to see how it works in survival. Actually, this will be a good point to cut, because gathering these resources is actually taking a while, so we'll see you in a second for you. Yep, we are back. I think I have most of this stuff. Maybe? I don't need that. Let's get that back. Closes in my face. Thinking right here will be good. Barely hear the music still. How do I want to do this? Maybe around here ish. Let's use this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is just a little redstone contraption. And I don't know if anyone else has done it. I have no idea. I didn't actually research into that much. Good. I'm thinking we'll just fill in this middle area as this area gets expanded upon. Wow, I really need to replace the melons? What is that? What are those melons? I think those are pumpkins. They're supposed to be pumpkins. Unless the glass is making the orange look a little bit more yellow. Could be the case. Anyway. Really do need to replace the things with emeralds, but we're getting distracted here, so... As you know, you can use an item frame and a redstone comparator, or you may not know, but now you know. And doing that gives you the ability to select between eight items and send a redstone pulse or signal from the frame. We're just kind of getting rid of the water right here. Maybe should have used some... Oh no, that wouldn't matter. I was thinking using some sponge. Alright, I'm cutting the water off, so these are falling over. Yeah, 
taking the pulse and then doing something with it. So you can use it to make combo locks, you can use it to do lots of different things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it gives me leeway. If I go a couple in, so right around here, and looking at the thingy, maybe we just go like here. And one of the things you can do is use it for more complex stuff, to make the more complex stuff easier. And that's what I like to do, make complex stuff easy. Do I want it flush, or do I want it up one? No, I like having this one be the point where you use stuff. Actually, ender pearls would probably be a good idea right now. Well, and to activate it, I want to use an arrow. Okay, so what the plan is, will be to make this arrow in the middle, when it's pointing at one of these redstone lamps, it will light it up. And in the future, this will not, we will not do it all in one go, that's for sure. It'll take a little while, but we'll wire this up and we'll have it go over to a brewing system and we'll do that in parts because it's a little bit large and will probably take a little while to actually make so uh right now i think i may want to get the sponge but oh, let's light this up right now i still have to fill this in and dirt is nice and easy to remove so How deep is this? Give me a second here. One, two, three, four, five, six ish. Okay. Hopefully, that other instance of Minecraft open doesn't cause this to lag too much. The video that is. Well, the FPS too. Yeah. Now they're reasonable. Yeah, I'm still on 183. I had some stuff I wanted to get done before updating to. The newer versions. Okay, so we are at one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want one more as a buffer for the water, although eventually, as I said, oh, I think I want to fill this all in. I like redstone stuff. It's fun to make things and make them work and have them do stuff and as I said before, making complex things simple and easy to use for people that don't do much redstone makes a fun hobby. Do I have more? Oh, I have my derp. So one of the th one of the things that I like to do are farms, and the Skelly Farm is. Not much of an example of that because it's really, really basic, but the experience mode and the ability to change it to getting the drops, like the just the drops falling down, if you just want the bones and the other stuff. Oh, we are out. That would be a little bit closer to an example that I could give. And to do that, I just used a web at the top. It does increase the time, but I like the the not have to worry about how far they're dropping to get them down to basically the one hit kill. Maybe I should use a better shovel when doing these too. All right, so we have this going. Taking down here, okay. And I need how many? I need a one to the right. Okay. And that's when you're looking at it. One to the right is this one. All right. Okay. 
I really like Minecraft's music. Even after all these years playing it. It's nice and relaxing. Especially when you're digging out like a large area of maybe sand or just digging a pit, that kind of thing. It can actually be pretty zen-like. And then of course when you're building stuff and being creative, all that thing, type thing, type of stuff, type things. Uh, let's replace the ground as well. may change out these blocks for something else. I don't know. Right, so... In position. Actually, I'm going to move this a little bit over. Move this one a little bit over. Okay, can I see both? And here. I need to grab torches. This one will go here, and this one will go here. We're checking... Okay, the one on the side goes up a little bit. Oh, it's raining. Well, we have time, because it's night, to just quickly go and... Hi! Hi! <laughs> Go swap it today, and that should also remove the rain. I wonder where he spawned from. I also don't like the sounds that mobs make now when they're walking around. Their footsteps sound more like slime. That's really confusing when you're underground to try and find slime, and instead you find other things. Zombies. here, and this one is above again. Yeah, it's mirrored. Uh, let's throw this down. Uh, probably won't need the bow. Watch, we're going to need the bow. We're totally going to need the bow pretty quickly here. using slabs when a full block is not required. Just gonna make sure. Yeah, okay. Am I am I looking at this right? Yes. Okay. It's using the end gate. go here. Probably gonna have to exit a little bit below as well. Not right now, but later on when the larger version of this comes together. Because it actually needs to go down a little bit further. Where are my repeaters? There's a little bit of a frame rate lag going on. Uh, this one's mainly needed. Don't necessarily need that. Let's get some redstone. So all this is is the normal thingy that you'd see on the other side of one of these. And I need to dig out a little bit over here. And definitely want to be careful with the water, because if it floods out this redstone, 
that will not be fun. And actually, thinking about it, this video may not be too quick either, which means that the Blaze Farm video will actually be longer than I thought. Hmm. Well, it's good to know now, rather than later. Alright, so this is set up. We need... not you. We don't need you. We need... Yeah, these are the right things. Okay, well, whatever. Put here, and... It just goes over. Okay. This. So this is going to turn on. I'm going to hit this, and then hit that one, and then light that one up. And then it's mirrored over here. So just throw these down here. Alright. And over here, throw down a slab. And oh we need these definitely. Go like that. Now the trick to this is making sure it doesn't activate the redstone below it. Uh, okay, we will come back to this. It's actually going to come down to this point. But right now we're focusing on the other portions of this. No, do we need to do it? All right. I can't see, it's in the way. There we go. Alright. Yeah, this one goes here. This one goes here. So when you're transferring power from a comparator, you can use a block and then a dust and then another comparator instead of comparator, comparator, comparator. That is if nothing's on the side that would get interference or from here as well. Alright, so we need. See, this is a stepping stone. And place one here. And then that will go into here. Which, in, if I can jump, which in turn will light this up. And then that. We'll supply power to this block here, and you can either do it going around to here or going out to here, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just use the easy way. I don't know if I'm going to put anything here from this side. I might put a layer of something on top, or I might just make this the roof layer right here. So that can be moved over there if you want to. And now we need to make the other thing on the top. Can I sneak through here? I can't. Dang it. Dang it. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Let's hit the button to sprint. I'm not rely on the double tap. But I always double tap. Double tap. Always. These are two short ones. Yes, two short ones. Sorry. As I prop my fall off. Okay, two halves and. Wait, how? It helps if I'm looking at the right one. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I see. I see, this is the blind man. Like this, and then this one is a dust, I believe. Yes. Okay. Dust, and then repeater, and then stick a block. No, oh, I'm down here now. Stick a block here, stick a block here, stick a block here. Destroy this block. Stick a repeater there. Did I get that other one? No, nope, there it is. Close the 
parkour of compressed redstone. Alright, and then this one is the normal. Okay. We're kind of moving part of that thing that's down there to up here. And I want to go down. Yeah. Smack. Which point am I on? Which point am I on? This one. Off. Torch. That's the wrong torch. That's not torch. There we go. Right. I'm okay with showing the redstone construction on camera. It may make for a longer video, but some people will probably find it interesting, so why not show it off from time to time? And those that don't want to see it just won't watch. All right. Now if I can get up here, but it's fine. I don't need that. Doesn't need to be a full block. Yeah, that doesn't need to be a full block. It's not looking correct. Okay, that's why it's not. But it is correct. Uh, let's put something here so I don't have to jump all the time. Alright, so there's a repeater here, and then a repeater here. And that's because if there's a dust here, it would get activated from this one, and a dust here would get interference, and it wouldn't really pass it over. This dust would never turn on. It only matters if this one is on to turn this one on. So we've got these two done now. And that one is on until it turns off. This one is wired. I think that's most of them wired. We just need to connect this wire over here. So let me bring my camera over here to get a bit better. Alright. I'm going from the weird point. Yeah. So instead of pulling another comparator out, we're using this block here. And it's Why is that like that? For the other thing. Okay, so in for right now, in the future, I would want to change this. So to do it now, I'm going to do it as that's the wrong block. I could just use another one, but in the future. I'm going to want to change this, and I need to cut this wire off from this wire. So that's why I'm doing it like this now, instead of then. I could use another one as well, but it also needs to be cut off from this wire as well, so it does have to go up there. And I kind of just left that one there, apparently. And then it's just a straight-on drive up to... definitely feel the effects of the other Minecraft instance running. I wonder if turning down the quality would let me record with better frames without the frame lag, because it's still like a reasonable frame rate, but I can tell there's a frame lag going on. Okay, so we are wired up completely with the actual system, 
And next is getting the signal from the item frame itself. So what we're going to want to do is move this over a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't mess the recording up. And go here. And we'll just like this. This. Need one here. Oh, I did want to just do this instead. Well, I could have just used the wall. Oh well. Whatever. And get out of the way. There we go. And now we're going to use something a little odd for this part. So we're taking this signal and we're going to throw it to this repeat comparator, not repeater. And to do so, we're going to go like this. And we're going to go... It is... Two points. this, this, like this. This was on the wrong spot. I just realized. I should be using the one of these picks, not both. Oh well. Okay, so as far as I know, this should be active. Let's go test it out. So this is correct. Yeah. 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 No. No. Yeah. I don't know why it does that little reflect or flicker or the thingy, whatever it is there. It's just how it works. So we have a wire incorrect on the upper two. As I've completely missed that jump. Ah, that would be why. Need a dust here. And yeah, all right. So this one is done and it only took a little bit of time. It's actually faster than I thought it would be. It's not super quick, but it's reasonable. These ones are a little bit faster because they're pulling it directly from that thing, and these other ones have a little bit more of a delay getting the signal down to them, but it's reasonable. I'd really like to make one as fast as those ones up there, but it might be possible, but to compact the redstone even further would be a little insane. So, yeah. This should do it for now. Uh, in the future video, I would like to do the other thing. I'll just close the other Minecraft instances. I can feel the frames being less laggy. So in the future video, I'm thinking we will continue on with this thing and get the actual full device functioning in survival. And that's the reason why I'm showing it all on video. It's because I want to build this in survival and see how it is. And hopefully you're having some interesting times watching me build it in survival. If there's interest, I can release a just a quick map with this thing on its own so people can just look at it. And if you want to put another item in here instead of that one, you have to just move the redstone that's down here, just move it down one. And then it'll sync up to that one instead of the one off the arrow. Right here, when you swap to there, it, the comparators have a weird thing when it comes from this item frame. I don't know why, but it just happens like that sometimes. Anyway, enough rambling. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good whatever is your location, and goodbye!